Hi and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Well, it's been a couple of months since I did an update on this tank so I thought we'd have a look at it today and see what's going on. Before we get started looking at the aquarium, just a couple of club announcements I'd like to go through. Uh, the Greater Manchester Cichlid Society, they're holding an auction on Sunday the 6th of February. That's in Littleborough by Rochdale. Uh, the deadline for getting lots into there is the 30th of January. And the other one is the Northwest Cichlid Group, which has got an auction on the 6th of March, Sunday the 6th of March. So that's in Rainford in St. Helens. So the lots are going to be started taken for that one on Saturday the 22nd so both of them are a first come first serve so if you'd like lots booked into them please do get in touch as soon as possible and um, so I'll put the leaflets on at the end of the video as well just in case uh, and they're also on the Northwest Cichlid Group's Facebook page if you want to see them in more details this is one of me Cichlid community tanks the mainly Central American Cichlids in this tank there are some South American cichlids and tetras and corries in there as well. Um, the South American cichlids, as you can see, it's the Geophagus tapajag redheads. So there's four of them in here. I, I believe that there's two pairs, uh, based mainly on the coloration. And the reds tend to have more red on the on the, the, the forehead and the nose area. So we had the, some of the other cichlids in here that are growing on quite nicely. There's a pair of Sajaka, as you can see, here's both of them, the male and the female. The colours in the female are really popping at the moment. You can see all the yellows in the dorsal uh, and, the, and the tail. And the, the male, when he colours up, like he's all red. So that's the easiest way to sex the Sajaka. Yeah, so I've just done a water change in this tank, uh, about a 50% water change. So I'm hoping that it will trigger them into into spawning. So if you've seen the video I put up a couple of weeks ago about spawning triggers, they, they, like they, this is what I'm hoping to happen. And um, some of the other cichlids in here, it's the, I've got four of the bow corti, so they're growing on really well. They were only just over half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch when I got them. So they're up to about two and a half, three inches now. So the colours are starting to come through in them now. And um, you can see like what i hope is the male that the, the, the colors are starting to really come through so they are a spectacular fish when they're adults and uh, some of the other cichlids that we've got in here it's the auto fluvi so i've got some of the small ones that i got at one of the auctions last year so there's one male and three females of those uh, and there's another pair that i got last year uh, that are a bigger pair I've also got a group of salvini in this tank uh, so you might see them dotted around and this one here this is the, the nanolatus the female nanolatus unfortunately i've only got the one <laughs> so yeah i am on the lookout for, for some males yeah so the, the tetras i've got a soft spot for the tetras and the, the, they make great bitter fish and uh, so the tetras in here it, it's the buenos aires and there's a group of the uh, colati yeah. There's also a small group in here, if you can see them, of the, the Coruleus, um, another Central American cichlid. Uh, they, they don't get too big, these ones. They only get to about four or five inch. Um, yeah, so there is a small group of those. There should be six of them in this tank. <laughs> yeah, so the, the Tapajas, the, the, I've had them for quite a while now. They, they, seem to be quite slow growing in this tank yeah there is one of the female nanolatus uh, with, with, the, with the gold coloration and the, the smaller male in the front yeah so the salvini they were only tiny when i got them uh, they were not much more than fry to be honest so they're growing up quite well so yeah the, all in all it's it's quite a good community this so all the all the fish are all getting on together there's no aggression in there and um, no doubt as they get bigger I will have to split them up a little bit for but for growing on for future projects yeah it, it, it's ideal so yeah th there's a lot of debate about like how many cichlids you can actually keep in one tank of all different species but I think it all depends on the size of them and the temperament but because these have all been growing on since they were quite small it, it seems to be working for me at the moment so yeah it, it, it's quite a good tank um, 
always lots going on in there, always lots of movements and uh, yeah, quite a bit of colour. So yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased with the way it's going. So I just thought I'd share an update. It's been a couple of months since I did one on it. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the update on this tank here. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave any comments, and I'll see you all on the next video.